What is going on everybody? This is Gaming with Ian bringing you some uh, crazy gemming spree. Hopefully uh, we can go ahead and huck out these legendaries. As you can see it's a fully maxed account other than the legendaries. Um, so hopefully we can um, you know, go ahead and literally max every single card out. Although I don't anticipate us actually maxing out the, uh, the Night Witch here and I don't anticipate us maxing out the Bandit. Uh, they're just a little they're a little far away from being maxed. I'm hoping to get the Night Witch to uh, let's let's go with 10 out of 20 for level five. I feel like that'd be I mean level four is definitely usable. I mean Molt used her as level one. So yeah, at 5800. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can see if the algorithm is a thing. Uh, Bren Chong said it was. Uh, he spent roughly 700,000 gems on um, specifically uh, the bandit and then about a million gems to get the uh, Night Witch to max. Uh, but seeing as though this is a million for a bunch of legendaries, like almost every single one except for the Ice Wizard and Princess, um, don't think the algorithm is really going to help too much, but I'm interested to see how many duplicates we'll get because um, I, I hope we don't get too many. <laughs> uh, so this is about $7,200 by the way, 1 million gems is about $7,200. Just to showcase how expensive the game actually is and how how no one really, unless you got some serious financial means here, you should not be doing this. Don't. Don't. <laughs> uh, but hopefully uh, with this account here, I actually never really uh, maxed out the legendary so I should be doing this with uh, a couple of my other accounts as well because they, they really need it. They're pretty low. <laughs> um, like some have level 3 legendaries and stuff. So we need to get those maxed. Especially for people to be interested in them. Oh. That was really quick getting the minor max there. It's not bad at all. It sucks that we're going to be maxed, like completely maxed on gold, like so soon. Like it's already, I mean, we're already at 300,000. It's going to be fast. And we're just going to be wasting probably around 8, 9 million gold gone because Supercell needs as much money as they possibly can, apparently. The reason why they do that, guys, is because if you have a million gold, what's going to happen is that's only buying three legendaries and shop three times, basically, is what you're looking at. No, four. Four, four legendaries. There we go. Sorry, simple math. Um, so what that makes you end up doing is having to spend gems to get more gold to, to buy them out of the shop kind of a bit ridiculous if you ask me and that is the most ridiculous thing in the world right there why in the world <laughs> do they give you not only make you wait one extra legendary of that to get your gold but then only give you 20,000 gold that's literally just robbery there's no reason and there's also no reason why you should be getting the same legendary multiple times especially after it's filled I think if that was a thing, I would have been maxed with like 300,000 gems. Just because it wouldn't give me, you know, legendary. Like, it's bad enough on all these other cards, but like, the legendaries here, like, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure what they, if they increased the gold cap to like 10 million, and gave you 40,000, 40, uh, which is the equivalent of the value of the card, uh, then I think that'd be a little more fair. Oh, Inferno Dragon, that's that's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. This is what we needed, really. Inferno Dragons and Sparkers, we need to max those cards out immediately. They're the highest used, most played, top 200. Guaranteed success if you use them, especially in the same deck. If you can pull off Sparky and Inferno Dragon in the same deck, you're doing something right. It's just how it is. It's fact. It's kind of crazy to think that each one of these chests is about $35. <laughs> just just going away. It's so sad. Especially when I want to max this gold out. It's even going to be worse. Oh, I'm glad we got that. Lo level 5 log is needed, guys. For that level 6 princess, I'm telling you. Changes the game. <laughs> you know, for that one level 6 princess you may play uh, once a season, if you're maxed. Man. I wish there was more uh, cards to synergize here with the Bandit. Because I feel like the Bandit's a really awesome and unique card, but I feel like it's too unique. Like, there's not there's not too many other cards that synergize at all with it. 
In fact, I don't think there technically is a card that perfectly synergizes with it because of how unique its special is in its movement system. Okay, we got the Night Witch to usable rates. Uh, there's a guy who's in top 10 here uh, using a level 3 Night Witch. If that doesn't tell you how strong she is, I don't know what will. Other than the fact that we'll have that level 1 at 5800. That's pretty crazy. As I said in my tweets, though, there's not been a single card ever, and probably never will be again, that has affected the meta as bad as she has. You can literally put her in any single deck, and you can 100% win. <laughs> it's Her win rate, I think right now, is over 80% in the top 200. That's how bad it is. It's just insanely stupid. Uh, I mean, she does get countered by uh, Executioner, and people are actually running Ex Executioner a lot more now because of her. But still, like... A level 1 can kill a level 13 knight with 2 thirds health left. There's something wrong with that. <laughs> There's something really wrong with that. It's so unbalanced it's not even funny. And the, the really scary part is, they actually balanced her um, before entering her in the game. She, uh, in the dev build, she actually, um, she spawned 5 on death spawn and she spawned 3 bats per uh, spawning rate. So now it's two bats and I believe four bats on death. And they nerfed the bats DPS, I think, by three or four percent? Something like that. So they nerfed her pretty, I would say, heavily. Because um, how quickly she's throwing out those bats and there's one less each time. I mean, that's that's pretty heavy nerf and yet it's still nowhere near, like it's, it's by far the most powerful card in the game by like a thousand percent. And I'm hoping that they, uh, they go ahead and nerf her, because they, they need to. Like, like to tomorrow. <laughs> That'd be great. Just nerf her tomorrow. And I don't know what else, uh, why Supercell's doing, um, this whole, let's release a extremely overpowered card right next to end of season. Uh, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but any card that has, um, been released mid-season or anything like that, it's not really been used and changed the meta significantly. It's been every, it's been the, the cards that have been released right before... Uh, season reset that have always changed everything. Like, look at the heal spell. Um, it didn't really change anything because it only synergizes really with three musketeers, but um, look at the uh, Goblin Gang. It didn't even pick up until the next season. But then that one became good. I think Goblin Gang's like a little too strong because there's no reason to use goblins or spear goblins by themselves anymore. That one elixir is just so worth it. So many commons. I think I've gotten like three or four chests already without uh, legendaries. It's really sad. I think the percentage is like 68. 68%. That's pretty that's pretty significant really. Let's try to rush through a couple of these. This is a uh, this is by this is probably going to be a 30 minute video. I'm just me spamming these out. So we're down to 750,000ish gems here. Knocking these guys out. 780. It's a lot of chest. I will say that. We need nine more Night Witches. That's, that's what we're looking for here. Nothing else matters. Just the nine Night Witches. Just so I can push to Oblivion here. It's just necessary. <laughs> Steal in number one this season. <laughs> Doubt it. I, I probably will hit top 30 though this horrible overpowered card I'm intrigued to know which uh I don't know if you guys watched uh, the finals for the the big tournament but um everyone was using um her in like splash art it was basically just watching splash art it was kind of sad I think trainer Garrett was the only one not to use her and he just used the normal log bait cycle Man. I'm glad we got the Electro Wizard up. Le Electro Wizard level 5 is necessary. A lot of people may not know that, that are not in the top here, but like, if you don't have a level 5 um, E Wiz, you, you can't play him. <laughs> he just doesn't work because he gets fireballed and then it feels bad then. <laughs> uh, as where level 5 he does have that silver health, and that silver health on an E Wiz is worth millions. It really is. Still need significant amount for that night witch. So 
So many gems. I, I want somebody to go ahead and calculate how much gold is actually wasted here. <laughs> I feel like Chief Pat when he tried to gem up the heal spell using uh, Super Magicals. Instead of giant chest. <laughs> and he just had the max gold just just going going into the abyss. Yeah, it was sponsored, so I guess that's not really a waste of money. It's free. Lava Hound. I, I think the bandit doesn't really have any key interactions different when it's level five versus level four. Uh graveyard for sure does. Graveyard has the Ice Wizard is big enough, the Skeletons are big enough. Yes, Night Witch. Have you notice how little I'm getting of these Night Witches? <laughs> it's like it's purposely being stingy. Lumberjack I don't think really needs to be maxed. I think there's some differences with Barbarians, but no one uses Barbarians. In fact, I don't even think anybody really uses Elite Barbarians anymore. I think that's phased out, thankfully. My most hated card in the game. Love when people spam you with uh, friendly battles. Really exciting. <laughs> Nothing more annoying <laughs> than trying to spend boatloads of money here. I needed that Sparky. I really did. Sparky. I just need more Sparkies. That'll that'll help me out. More Sparkies will will make the world shine. Oh yeah, that's a, that's exactly what I needed. I need a max stack full because it should be. Um, it should exist in the first place to be full. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Don't understand. At least it doesn't allow you to uh, purchase more gold with gems when you're already maxed. I, I, I had a feeling there that, that uh, <laughs> the game would allow you to purchase gold that you couldn't actually get. Which would have been a pretty low blow. Uh, maybe even more of a low blow than uh, what's going on here with the Sparkies. So this account actually has been uh, kind of cursed with Sparkies. Uh, at one point I had 14 Sparkies in a row. It was, uh, it was a rough night. I don't, I don't really remember it too much. Inferno Dragon. I wonder if Inferno Dragon can actually uh, make it to meta. I'm curious to know if it can. I don't think it can. I think Lava Loom is its only chance. No one uses that anymore. JK. Everyone uses that now because you can use Night Witch in it. Because if you put Night Witch in anything, it's good. Also in the comments below, please please tell me when you think the uh, next uh, patch and nerf to the uh, Night Witch will be. I give it uh, June 9th. Something like that. Let's go ahead and max this out so I don't waste gold. <laughs> the amount of gold I'm already wasting is insane. Oh, yay! Another Sparky! That's exactly what we wanted, guys! Yes! Another Sparky! <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's what, six more. Six more my life's complete, guys. That's all I need. Just six more. That's all anybody needs. Feel bad for anybody who can't gem this user has like a maxed account or something and they can't you just can't afford to try to gem this out. I mean you're at a significant disadvantage. I'm also curious when they're gonna introduce level 14 and how they'll change Oh yay! Yay, max stack full. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to see. How they'll change um the leveling system for like people like me that are fully maxed. Because a lot of XP is just gone. You, people can get like level 13 with level 6 epics now. That's insane. I need that Ewiz. I'll, I'll take Ewizes happily. Like that. That's perfect. Beautiful. So let's keep going with that really though. That's what I want to see. The log. No. Don't really care. Now, now that's. Okay. So more Night Witches. Let's just go with more Night Witches. And then Ewiz on the side. Don't care about Lumberjack. Although I'd rather get something than nothing out of these 68% chance chests that feels like I'm getting a lot of nothing most of the time. Uh, other than these max stacks. I'm gonna have stacks on stacks, guys. <laughs> but when you can donate those legendaries whenever the hell that's coming. A 
a lot of empty chests. And anything with uh, Sparky and a front dragon counts as an empty chest, by the way. Because they're very necessary. The most necessary card. Um, hopefully uh, tomorrow I can go ahead and... Uh, so the third, I can go ahead and post some uh, gameplay. Cause some, I plan on pushing significantly high with the uh, happiness of this uh, account. Go ahead and post uh, some replays on what deck I find best works with the, uh, the Night Witch. Yeah, it should, be, it should be pretty interesting. See how high I can actually get. I'm a fairly good player, but I'm not the best. I'm not even going to lie, guys. I can only maintain top 200. That's normally about where I'm at. This takes so long to gem. <laughs> One more cast and we get the uh, we get the troll of the year. I've been looking forward to it. I may end up doing just a bunch of grand challenges to try to get the night witch up as fast as possible. Cause it doesn't make uh, financial sense to go ahead and try to max her out. And I think I should save a little bit of gems uh, at the end just to max out the bat as soon as it comes out. So I don't even have to wait putting gems on the encounters there. It costs about $100, by the way, guys, to uh, max out a common when it first comes out if you have everything else maxed. Because the algorithm works on everything but legendaries, possibly. Let's go ahead and uh, max out our beautiful Sparky here. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and keep gemming. Still got a significant amount of gems left. Even though I'm powering through as best as I possibly can here. If uh, you guys know of any other big gemming spears like this other than the one uh, Nova did a couple months ago. I think he did 2 million from an account from level 3 to max. Uh, that was back when Lava Hound, Miner, and Sparky had like I believe just come out. So I don't think you could do that now. But Yeah, let me know. I know Ben's Light's doing 80,000 a video, basically. So that's that's pretty significant. It's a lot more than most people put on their accounts total. He does it each video. Try to max. He's matching, maxing from the beginning. It's interesting to see that, uh, theoretically, you're supposed to have level 4 legendaries. Uh, level 7.5 epics, and then level 9, almost 10 rares. And then level 12 and 13 commons. When gemming all through super magical chests. Which is the most efficient way to max, guys. If you're truly trying to max out your account, it doesn't make sense to do anything else other than super magical chest. The epics is what costs the most. Epics halfway from 100 to 200 cost roughly about $7,000, $8,000. It's USD. So I honestly recommend just staying at the... For the cheapest way possible, just stay at level 7 epics. Um, and then uh, just grind out challenges for the legendaries. And. Man, the log. What a beautiful card. And uh, do a giant chest if you want to, you know, go ahead and get the uh, new cards out. That's probably the most efficient. You could probably get away doing that like $2,000. You could probably get an account that way. Which is not too bad when you consider this account's worth about 28000 now insane amounts of money just blown on a mobile game makes you feel good inside it really does makes you happy energetic I wake up in the morning feeling great knowing that I spent 28,000 just on this just on this account man it's interesting how the uh, the actual chest system has changed, and it gives you the legendary before the twenty five epics. If that's how you, the if you do get the twenty five epics, I'm not sure why. It's like it's favoring the twenty five epics to be more um, interesting <laughs> than the legendary. Man, three hundred sixty one thousand gems, boys. Getting close. Finally. Two more and then we got the level four. That's that's what we're looking for. 
I hope we can do it. I'll be I'll cry if we don't. I'll cry right here on camp. Oh no, we're gonna get it. Yeah, we're gonna get it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it right in the Inferno Dragon. Right in the Inferno Dragon. I also wish there was some kind of way that I could just donate all these cards to somebody. That'd be great. That basically max somebody like a level 12 or level 11. All these additional cards that just max you. It's probably why they don't let you do it. Man. Bomb Tower. Skeletons. Heal spell. I kind of wish if you had the card max, it wouldn't even show it and it'd just show you the cards you get so we could just see empty chests all the time. <laughs> oh man. That'd be kind of funny. Open the chest up and it just brings you right back to the screen because you didn't get anything. It's basically what's happening. In cases like that. Because <laughs> it doesn't even give you gold. It's a cap you. Everything's designed perfectly to make you spend money. Maybe I should switch to magical chests like Iphonix. I heard that's a really good way to gem. <laughs> oh man. Bandit. Bandit's getting fairly up there. I should be able to get her in like a shop or two once this is over. Lumberjack should be maxed. Oh, come on, I hate that so much. It just angers me to the core. It shouldn't exist in the game, and it does. Oh, there we go. It's over, boys. Crushing the season automatically. It's done. It's, do it's done. There's probably only like 50 total accounts in the game that have that level 4 right now. There's probably only like 4 or 5 that have level 5 right now. I mean, you're seeing how much effort it takes. Let's go and put this in front of the dragon, because that, that other card's max. No reason to look at it. Need to uh, change that around. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see how many more gems we had. Just focused on spending as much money as quickly as possible here. 263,000. Man, we should get the night, uh, the night bitch up fairly high. Maybe be lucky. Well, unless we uh, get the normal witch instead. That's fine. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I think Lumberjack and Inferno Dragon are going to be maxed. I think I'm gonna be left with Bandit and uh, Bandit and the Night Bitch. Yeah, two I should be with. Lumberjack obviously is gonna be maxed. See, now it seems to be like that it's favoring them now. You know, I'm not getting the duplicates really. And if you notice, I haven't even gotten a Princess or an Ice Wizard throughout all this. So maybe the algorithm is a thing. I I mean. It kind of seems like here at the end. Now that I got like literally everything max. Maybe it's toning the algorithm down a little bit or something. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, we actually need the gold right now. That's insane. See, they knew. They knew we needed the gold. They're just going to give it to us. That's what they're doing. What am I thinking? It's when you get max gold that they decide. Oh, wait. Are we max gold? At least we got the bandit. We are max gold. Okay, see, that's why we got the bandit, guys. We have max gold. Makes perfect sense. And Inferno Drag. Three more. Three more with 109,000 gems. That's like 22 more chests. Man, we actually we might get the Night Witch up to what my goal was. 10 out of 20. That's not a bad prediction. Not a bad prediction at all, guys. Bandit. I mean, we'd have to get Bandit basically every other time here to, to get her maxed. So I'm not really... Ice Wizard! That's the first Ice Wizard we've gotten in a million and eight thousand gems. That's insane. What are the odds of that? And we still haven't gotten the princess. Still have not gotten a single princess. That's what makes me think that the algorithm is real. Stuff like that. Okay. Six more. Bandit. That's uh, two shops, so I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. 
Ooh, Night Witch, okay. Four out of twenty. Ice Wizard. Two Ice Wizards, I believe, the entire time. Still zero on the Princess. Five out of twenty. We're looking good. Looking good. 121,000 gems. How close can we get her, guys? Apparently we could just get poisoned. Let's get poisoned down. Feels bad. Back to the Goizen meta. That was a horrible meta. Horrible meta. Oh man. I love getting these empty chests. I wish it would just not waste my time and just say, hey, you got screwed over. Thanks for thanks for paying us thirty-five dollars. Supercell disclaimer. Sixteen out of twenty, so that's that's what I wanted to see. Helps the uh, gold cost. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. Night witch. Can we get to three more night witches in the small amount of gems? I think this is where Galadon gemmed. I think Galadon gemmed the night witch from sixty thousand around there. A slight difference in gems, a million or so. 920,000, 930,000, in that area. So I don't remember if it was 60 or 70. Man, please just give me give me a couple more night witches here. Not the log, no! Supercell, that's not what I need. I need the night witch, so I can get my prediction right. Why would you give me two in a row? What are you doing? I swear there's a guy, like, picking out exactly which legendary is coming out. We got the princess! That's it, guys. We're done. We got the princess. We're going home. Let's just call it right there. Night Witch? Can we get two more in, like, one, two chests? Three chests? Yes! Yes! Nine out of ten. That's really close to my prediction. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. For sure take it. Oh, and we finish it off with the Sparky. We finish it off with the Sparky, because Supercell loves me. They want to make sure that I know that Sparky is a card, and it's still there. It's still relevant, guys. It's there. Uh, I really want to thank you all for uh, watching. If you stuck through all the way through 27 minutes of uh, throwing money at a wall. It's very exciting stuff. I know you guys love it. But uh, really appreciate it everything uh if you guys can get this video out it's really hard to grow a channel i've only got 90 subs and i've got like nine videos try pretty hard on this uh, i think i spent 12 hours total trying to get this this put together so if you guys could just uh please leave a like comment subscribe try to get this out um unless you didn't like the content if you didn't like the content please let me know in the comments i'll try to do my best to uh fix that thanks